Today's Morning Minute, examine the sheep, not the sinner. The priest in the Old Testament never examined the person who had sinned. Instead, it was the sheep that was examined, which was brought to the priest as a sacrifice for the person's sin. The priest examined the sheep to determine that the sheep was spotless, without blemish or wrinkle. The priest needed a perfect sheep. The person who had sinned would place his hands on the lamb as an act of transferring all of his sins unto the innocent, perfect lamb. The priest would then kill the lamb, which was would clear the sin debt of the sinner and totally forgive him of his sin. God's love for mankind was so great, he gave his only son, Jesus, the spotless sheep, to be crucified as a sacrificial lamb for the redemption of all. Jesus is the spotless, innocent, perfect, without blemish lamb who took away all the sins of the world on the cross. Jesus' blood was shed for the remission of mankind's sin. God is not angry at you. He loves you. He's looking at the lamb of God, not you, because Jesus bore all your sins on the cross. He is examining Jesus, not you. He sees Jesus, the spotless lamb who exchanged all mankind's sin for his righteousness, exchanged mankind's sin for his righteousness. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because you are in Christ Jesus, all condemnation and fear, in fear, is gone. God's perfect love cannot coexist with fear. His love, his love overcame fear and death on the cross. And we read in Romans 8, 37 to 39. Yet amid all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain a surpassing victory through him who loved us. For I am persuaded beyond doubt, am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things impending and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. God loves you. God loves you. He's made you righteous. He's justified you so you can stand in the presence of God, not by anything we do, but because of what Jesus did and God's love for you. Walk in that love today, in that victory. Amen and amen.